So let's talk more about this with Republican Congressman Peter King. He's a member of the House Homeland Security Committee and chairman of the Subcommittee on Counterterrorism and Intelligence. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Carol. Uh, Congressman, Americans were told we were going to conduct airstrikes against ISIS, but no one told us there was an imminent threat coming from this group called the Corazon Group. Did you know? I know uh, for the last several months about the Corazon Group. Uh, I first learned about it, I guess, three or four months ago. And uh, basically, this was kept top secret and uh, classified. And uh, the reason for that is, is basically we didn't want the enemy to know what we knew about them. The Corazon Group is an affiliate of al-Qaeda, extremely dangerous. And uh, they do have uh, bomb makers and other explosive experts. And so I, I give the president credit for attacking them without giving any advance warning to them at all. Did you know, though, that uh, the United States was going to target this Corazon group in Syria? No, I do not know that, uh, but I support the president doing it because they are affiliated with al-Qaeda, and uh, we are at war with al-Qaeda, and uh, this is a, a direct threat to the United States, and to me, the president has this power as commander-in-chief to carry out this type of attack. Wouldn't, wouldn't it have been nice if you did know? Because let's say there's some other group, that's some other offshoot of al-Qaeda within Syria, or some other country. Couldn't the president just decide to conduct airstrikes without the approval of Congress and without the knowledge of the American people? Isn't that a concern? The president has the power as commander-in-chief. If and people had known about it, if he had been talking about the Corazon group or if word had gotten out, that would have given them an opportunity to get away, to disappear to hide. And so, no, this to me, the president's main job as commander-in-chief is to protect the American people. And I believe he has the absolute right to carry this out. Now, if later on, Congress thinks it was inappropriate, we can take action as far as cutting off funding. But you can't have 435 or 535 commanders-in-chief. And if they had uh, told this to, to many people, I assume the Speaker of the House was told, I assume that the uh, majority leader of the Senate was told, and uh, probably certain people at the very tops of the Intelligence Committee probably the, you know, the chairs in both uh, the House and the Senate. But no, I, I don't believe that, even though it might be nice, it could also be very dangerous. And surprise is an element. We're at war with a deadly enemy. These people want to kill us. And I'm, I'm willing to give the president that power to kill them first. So you're willing to sit on the sidelines and allow the president to make these decisions? I am willing to do what a member of Congress should do. That's to watch as carefully as I can. I'm on the Intelligence Committee. Uh, I'm on the Homeland Security Committee. I'm not the Secretary of State. I'm not the President of the United States. I have my job as a member of Congress. The President has his job as Commander-in-Chief, and that's to protect the American people. And he's doing the right thing, and this has happened many times in our history. Eisenhower sent troops into Lebanon. For that matter, Harry Truman sent troops into uh, Korea. This is something that the president has the right to do. Congress can take follow-up action. If we oppose the, uh, what the president is doing, we can cut off funding. We can uh, take what action we think is necessary to stop him. But we can't be uh, upfront with every, uh, every attack as far as everyone being brought into it. Because in this case, the Corazon Group could have escaped. And uh, several months from now, we could have had many Americans dead. So that, to me, is a price I don't want to pay. Congressman Peter King, thanks so much uh, for joining me this morning. I appreciate Carol, it. thank you.